As one of the most successful game series in history, Grand Theft Auto has been played by millions around the world. Although, as the name suggests, the game primarily revolves around automobiles such as cars and trucks, the games have also often included a selection of military vehicles. Probably the king of all of these is the Rhino Tank. We first see this tank in action in Grand Theft Auto 3, although it's far from the tank we know today. As you can see, it's a bit of a stretch to even call this a tank, with it being much closer to an armored fighting vehicle. Although there are a few real-world vehicles it does bear a loose resemblance to, it looks nothing like the later renditions of the same name. One other difference from the other renditions of the Rhino is that this one was able to carry a passenger, something that the more tank-like vehicles are incapable of. The first version of the Rhino to actually look like a tank would come in GTA San Andreas. In this game, the Rhino is very clearly based on the Abrams, particularly in regards to the turret. However, as most of you are probably yelling at your screen right now, it has one very distinct difference, that being the running gear. Instead of tracks, this great value Abrams tank drives on 12 tires. I'm not entirely sure what the reason for this was, but I suspect it had to do with the limitations of the technology at the time. When you consider the game is nearing its 20th birthday, it's not too hard to believe. If you're more familiar with the game engine of the game than I am and have a different reason, do let me know in the comments. The first tracked rhino would appear five years after that in GTA Chinatown Wars, although it looks completely different once again. It does look a bit more like the original Rhino with a more tank-like turret and shape, but once again, bears no real resemblance to any real-world tank. It does remind me a bit of the Soviet Zis-30 with its hull shape, though. The Rhino also appears in GTA Liberty City Stories, GTA Vice City, and GTA Vice City Stories, but all of these look nearly identical to the original vehicle, so we don't need to examine them in detail. Interestingly, the Rhino would not appear in GTA 4 for whatever reason. Finally, we reach the one you've all probably been waiting for, GTA 5's Rhino Tank. For the low price of 3 million or 1.5 million if you're playing GTA Online, you can own your very own main battle tank to die to Oppressor Mark II's in. According to the listing on Warstock Cash and Carry, the Rhino is 60 tons of fun, a heavily armored battle tank with a 1500 horsepower turbine engine and a 120mm cannon, the Rhino delivers a hell of a lot of bang for your buck. Much like its namesake, the Rhino is slow on the turn, surprisingly fast on the charge, and generally terrifying to anyone in the vicinity. One of the few vehicles still manufactured in America, great for doomsday preppers. Strangely though, despite it being claimed to be made in America, this version of the tank actually looks much more like the German Leopard 2 than the Abrams. Perhaps in the GTA universe, the Leopard 2 won against the XM1s in their military trials. There are a few differences from the real world tank, aside from the obvious one of it being fully operational with only one crew member. One of the most notable changes is the number of road wheels, with the Rhino having 5 per side compared to the Leopard 7. The power output, on the other hand, is actually nearly spot on with both having roughly 1500 horsepower, although the Leopard uses a diesel rather than a turbine. Come to think of it actually, with the American insistence on a turbine during the selection process for the Abrams, that difference actually supports my theory of GTA being in an alternate universe where the US chose it over the M1. Another tank the Rhino looks extremely similar to is the TTD, or Tank Technology Demonstrator from South Africa. With this being a lesser known vehicle though, I highly doubt Rockstar was inspired by that rather than the Leopard. Although it may seem silly that this vehicle can be used by one person, there are some tanks in the real world which share this capability. Most notable of these is the Swedish S-Tank which has its controls mirrored to all of its crew, allowing any of them to drive or shoot coupled with an autoloader. Obviously this is not the reason why the tank functions this way in the game, but I figured it was an interesting side note that some of you may not have known. That about wraps it up for the Rhino tank and its changes throughout the series. There are actually quite a few other tanks which appear in the various GTA titles, but I think it would be best to save those for a separate video as they are not part of the Rhino lineage. Special thanks as always to my channel members and I'll see all of you next time on Fake Tank Friday.